Robinsons. I hope everybody had a wonderful Easter. I really do. Um, we're going to start and make the trifle. I did a couple of things ahead of time because I had to have them cooked ahead. What I did, I made a vanilla cake um, because you have to have that cooled. Then I made some of this bird's eye custard. It's sort of the, the same filling that you use like in the on Nanaimo bar, except for that we're not adding the icing sugar and whatnot. That turned out like this. It's sort of like a pudding. If you don't have custard, you can use a pudding. But the bird's eye is really nice. I've opened a container of Cool Whip. And I have one of these Jello. You can use whatever flavor. Red is always nice. So I've got a strawberry here. I thought I had a raspberry, which I was looking for, but I didn't. So, And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the jelly powder in one cup of boiling water. So I have one cup of boiling water here. So those things you have, you have to make the custard ahead because you can't use it when it's hot. And so I did that last night. I made the custard and the cake. So I'm just going to stir this until it melts. So it, uh, it's a very strange Easter for me not to be getting up and doing, you know, an Easter dinner or thinking about having guests and whatnot. Now my son and his wife and, and my grandson came over last night just for a little visit, which was really nice. And, um, but I was just, I don't know, this year I just wasn't feeling like I wanted to make the big dinner. So they came over last night and I had so much of that chili mac left over. So I did I give it to them to take home because I thought that, you know, they would make more use of it than we would. And they sent me a picture later. Finn was covered in the little sauce and whatnot. He just, he devoured it. He said, he's walking now, if you can believe that, he's walking. Okay, now I'm gonna add a cup of cold water. I put an ice cube in it so it's good and cold, so. And I'm going to make a, a, a larger bowl here, and then I'm making a small one on the side because I'm going to send one home with Buddy. Cal got the, the chili mac, and she's going to have this, so it's, I feel like I've at least she's going to come over for a little while today, but she's not staying for dinner, so she can take that home, and she's had some of the festivities with us. Okay, now, this is counterintuitive. You make a cake, and then you destroy a cake. Trifle used to be made with, if you had, if you'd made a sponge cake that flopped or you had a little problem or you dropped it or something and you had broken pieces of cake, you made trifle from it. But nowadays you make a cake and you destroy it while you're getting it ready. So that's what we're doing. This is just a plain vanilla cake. You see inside? Plain vanilla. Now, you don't want to crumble it into tiny, tiny little pieces, but you do want, you know, fairly small little bits so it's going to uh, um, absorb you can also buy like a sponge cake or something in the store you don't have to make it like this but you know it doesn't take anything to make up a cake so I, uh, I thought well that's what we're gonna do okay that's pretty much half of the cake there so we're gonna now we're gonna just pour a little bit of this jelly on each one. So you want to do this fairly early in your day or the night before because you do want your jelly to set. So that's why I'm doing it very early in the morning. Bill's not even up yet. He's awake, but he's not even up yet because I said to him, you don't want to come walking out here and you're all togethers. <laughs> okay, now see, there's a little bit on the bottom of the bowl and it will just absorb up into that, that cake. Now I'm going to take some of this, you can, yes, so I'm going to take a little bit of this custard and I'm just going to kind of dollop that on there. And if you do it in a nice clear bowl like this, then you can see it on the sides. It's very pretty on the sides. So, and I'll put some on floodies. All right, and we put another layer of cake. Now, Claudia won't be able to see hers as much because the bowl has, you know, a picture on the side of it, but still, it'll be good. 
have to watch make sure I have enough room to put the lid on that so it can travel. Well, she doesn't need to put the lid on. I think she can just set it on the seat as long as she doesn't have a dog with her. If she has a dog with her, then he would scarf it for sure. I should have made another little bowl and I could have given it to one of the neighbors, but oh well. I didn't. Okay, I didn't use all the cake. I've got, I've got quite enough here. All right, I'll put a little bit on Claudine's of the juice. Now you see, this will go into the refrigerator and that juice will just go right into that cake ever so good. A little bit more over here. All right, there's that. Now let's get the custard in again. I haven't made the bird's custard for a long time, and it was really funny. I said to Claudine how, how you make the trifle, and she said, I said, I need the bird's custard. And she goes, bird's custard? Like, she had no idea what I was talking about. I was like, yes, I've had it in the cupboard for a while. I hadn't even opened it. I must have been planning on making the Nile bars one day, and of course didn't make them. Otherwise, it would have been open. But as long as it gets used, Nowadays, you know, people just don't even think about having to cook from scratch. So many people just buy everything all ready-made. And I think it's good to know how to do it from scratch for the economy the way it is right now. We may need to know how to do it. All right, so that's that. Now comes the Cool Whip. Now you can use whipped topping like um, making yourself whipped cream, you know, but this was for the ease of it because I didn't feel like getting crazy today. But you know, you have to have something special. You have to have something special. So the dessert is the way I went. Didn't feel like doing the big dinner, but darn well gonna have dessert. Now, let's see, how are we doing here? I'm making a big mess, I think. I'm not gonna be putting the lid on, that's obvious. Okay, now. I may have to scoop a dish of this up for the neighbors because Bill and I will never eat this amount of dessert. I think it's so pretty when you get little swirlies on the top and stuff. It's like, that's, that's what makes it fancy. Otherwise, it's just broken cake. <laughs> All right. Let's see. All right. Now let's do the final little decoration here. I can get this into my hands. See, my hands weren't working very good yesterday, but they're working pretty good today so far. Not that we've had much time to find out, but. Little mini chocolate chips there. I think my mom used to like take a chocolate bar and shave it and, you know, get little shavings of chocolate, but again, I'm not that fancy. All right. I'll hold this up so you can all see. There's one. And see how pretty that is in the bottom of that dish? And then I don't, you can't see too much on Claudine's because it's uh, the, the, the thing around it. But it still looks very nice. So that's what we're having. Oops, I should go where you can see me. That's what we're having for dessert. Tell me in the comments what you guys are all having for dinner and dessert. I... I would be very interested in seeing who does what. <laughs> All right, I, I sure hope you had a great dinner. I hope you had a wonderful weekend and, and enjoyed 
all of today. All right. See you tomorrow.